Let us welcome the ninth speaker. The ninth speaker is Mr. Moeka Taguchi. Her speech title is Vote for Our Future. Vote for Our Future. So Ms. Taguchi, please come up to the stage. Thank you, Master of Ceremonies, distinguished judges, questioner, and timekeeper. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. How would you feel if a 60-year-old man you pass in the supermarket could tell you what age you can get married, how many years you have to work, or how much tax you have to pay for your favorite foods? This man doesn't know you or anything about you. So why should he get to make such important personal decisions for you? I could certainly never accept that. But this kind of silver democracy will inevitably destroy Japan if young people don't vote. In the future, we may have to follow rules that dead people have made. Why should a decision made 10 years ago be more important than the decision you make for yourself now. We have the right to decide our own futures, yet so many of us don't bother. We don't vote. So how can we encourage young people in Japan to exercise their right? We saw a frightening example of what can happen when young people don't vote in the UK referendum on leaving the EU. Figures show that only around 30% of people our age voted, whereas more than double the number of pensioners did. Nearly two-thirds of young people couldn't be bothered to take part in a decision that will affect the rest of their lives. If more young people had voted, could the result have been different? It seems the answer is yes. Of the young people that did vote, two-thirds wanted to remain, whereas most older voters wanted to leave. Because of the poor turnout from young people, the UK will leave the EU, ending countless benefits and opportunities for many people. Afterwards, many young people started complaining that their futures have been ruined by the selfish older generation who won't live to see the extent of the damage they caused. However, I think the young people should have made the effort to have their say. Compared to other countries, Japan has a much higher number of old people. Proportionally, they have a much bigger say and a much stronger effect on decisions that are made. This means young people's votes have become even more important. If fewer young people vote, we can't express our views on how our country should be run so the elder generation will control these decisions. Politicians respond to the wishes of their supporters. But if we young people aren't making our opinions clear, we will be ignored. Let's look at a real example in Japan. According to the Minister of Health, Labor and Welfare, our pensions in the future will only be half compared to now and we might even have to work for five or ten years longer to get it. Obviously, we cannot continue to accept this, but clearly, if we want a better deal, we have to speak up. The voting age in Japan was lowered to 18 in an attempt to involve more young people in politics. However, just because young people are able to vote doesn't mean they actually will. When I moved to university, I asked my friends when they would go to vote, but they answered, we can't vote here because they didn't have the right paperwork. A survey conducted by Chiba University said that about 80% of students who don't have the certificate of residence in their new city don't vote. You need one to vote outside your hometown, but they are a pain to get because you have to go to the city hall. You can't just apply for them online. So nearly two-thirds of young people just don't bother. 
This means if students without a certificate of residence want to vote, they have to return to their hometowns during the voting period to do so. This is usually impractical because of the time and distance involved. We must ask politicians to design an easier registration system. If anything, it's more important for young people to vote because they have to endure decisions politicians make for longer. However, they don't seem to realize this and their voices and opinions remain unheard. It's crazy. Soon our lives will be controlled by decisions made by dead people. I'd like to give you three concrete solutions to prevent this. Step one, educate people about the way things are going. We can't let our lack of residence certificates be the reason our futures are taken from us. We need to break the negative chain that is stopping so many students from voting. After this, even today, go out and get your certificate of residence so you can vote next time and encourage your friends to do the same. That's the main reason I'm making this speech today. Step two, convince people that we really can change society. Professor Suzuki of Meiji University says that this fundamental belief explains why 80% of young people in Sweden voted in the 2014 national election. You might think, my single vote can't change anything. Hmm, that's right. Your single vote can't change the result. But what if everyone thinks like that? Teach your friends, we need to work together. A better understanding of the real possibility of change can motivate them to exercise the right vote. Step three, use the internet to get more information. Assuming we've achieved step one and two, then you've realized the importance of voting and you've also become more invested in politics. Now that you're interested, there are so many ways to get information. Some people might struggle to choose the right candidate, but there are no correct answers for elections. Research, make your own choice and vote to take part in the democratic system. That is enough to begin with. Don't allow older people's idea to dominate the nation's consciousness. This is something we can't change. Learn about the situation. Teach your friends to believe in the power of change and vote. As young people in Japan, we all have the right to vote. Having a say in what the government does is so important. We have to take responsibility for our futures. We are so lucky we've been given this chance. We mustn't forget that some people are still fighting for the same rights as us. Please. Don't waste your vote. We have so many ways to get information. Use them to make informed choices about your future. Everyone, let's vote. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Taguchi. Now we have a question and answer session. Mr. Hayashi, please. Well, Oika, I'm so happy and honored. <laughs> Wonderful speech. Vote for our future. The uh, last part of the paragraph, you say, we can't change. We can't change. Uh, it's uh, written in the capital letter over here. Why do you make it the capital letter? Mm, why? Why do I think yeah. um, we can change? Yes. Um, by voting, we can show our opinion to politicians, and the politicians respond to the wishes of their supporters. So, if we vote, and we show the we if we um, have the high rate, high vote rate, then we will surely um, hope the politicians to respond up to our wishes, mm -hmm. I think. Okay. I thought you were going to use the uh, 
Obama's, you know, we can change in this part of it, but it's different. It's your, it's your style. We can change. Can change. We can <laughs> change. change. Right. Right. Okay, let's get back. So if you were a prime minister, okay, what would you change? I want to change um, fee for university. Mm -hmm. uh, I think now um, fee for university is too expensive, I, get, I think. And the data shows that um, we have the highest, um, we part-time jobs um, money we get is the highest, highest. More, more expensive than the economy of uh, when we were bubble economy. Okay. That is, that sounds, that may sound nice, good, but I think um, that is because our fee for university can't be paid only from my um, parents, our parents, so I think, and the data also, also said so, so I think if I were a prime minister, mm -hmm. I would definitely um, make university be more low. Okay, thank you. Okay, the, also the last part, uh, many ways to get information, right? Uh, for example, for example, of course, we have smartphones, and every day we see smartphones, so we can just check what is happening now and what should we um, act, how should we act for that. Of course, by voting, we can change the um, situation mm -hmm. better. So we have the right, so we have to exercise the right. I think. Okay, so then we can get the informed of the choices, right? Yes. Right. Yes. So this is a very good word for you mm. to explain. Informed choices. What is it? Uh, why I chose the word right. informed choices. Mm, I think for everyone, everyone has the different opinions about politics and just think by ourselves is a little not enough. We have to check sources and check the um, check um, information well, right. and then make the informed choices. That is the most important part to show our opinions. Okay. I think. All right. Thank you very much for nice information. All right. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you, Mr. Hayashi and Ms. Taguchi.